we are again, Tom Fotios of Vanguard Motor Sales, standing in front of a beautiful steel body 37 five window coupe. I had to put on my sunglasses to stand in front of this one because it is smoking hot. It is absolutely beautiful. Come on up, let's take a look inside. Guys around. The hugger release is actually inside the vehicle. It's a complete rest seal mod. Um, it's got one little blemish right here on the hood. But uh, besides that, that's it. Um, let's see here. There we go. Get this open here for Aubrey. She can get her camera in there so you guys can check everything out in this bad boy. It's, uh, it's got the Mustang 2 rack and pinion. Uh, disc brakes, you're looking at a 350 Chevy backed by a 350 Turbo Trans, followed by a 9 inch Ford rear end. Um, you got a Griffin radiator, and one of my favorites is the uh, AC and heat by uh, I believe it's Vintage Air. It's got the uh, Ron Francis wiring harness. got a mild cam, aluminum intake, block hugger headers, aluminumized exhaust with flow masters. This car is super solid. It's got beautiful solid floor pans and the frame is very solid as well. Um, you can see some pictures on our website, vanguardmotorsales.com. Click on inventory and check it out. Things beautiful. Aubrey's gonna do a little walk around here. Um, so you guys can check it out. Beautiful, beautiful car though. We'll get inside too, it's all custom inside as well. One of my favorite little toys on the car is the uh, the trunk is actually electric, it goes up and down like with the window switch that's located on the passenger side in the car. I'll go ahead and do it and Aubrey can show you guys. Here we go. Look at that bad boy. Talk about cool. That is bad to the bone. And to go down you just press the button down just like the window operates. That is really cool. If you saw the box in the trunk and some uh, spare paint maybe for touch up. Um, it's a Mustang yellow is what it is on this vehicle. Everything's real tight. It's got a real nice fit to it. It's even got a wiper which is real nice in case you're caught in the rain. Ready to go inside, Aubrey? There you go, check it out. Beautiful, beautiful interior. It's uh, got the banjo steering wheel, um, low car shifter. The interior's got a beautiful nostalgic look to it. It's really cool. This car runs and drives perfect. All the gauges work, radio air conditioning tack. Uh, behind the back where you would be sitting down is uh, storage as well. It's where the spare tire is and as well as the jack. This car was actually driven from California to Michigan so that will give you the idea of the uh, quality of the vehicle and, and um, dependability. Yeah, It's got 9,500 miles on it.
ride on the street rod. The gentleman who built this did a heck of a job. Uh, he actually even drove this car from California to Michigan. And I'll tell you what, I would I would do the same thing. I mean, it just rides super nice. It's got uh, vintage air and heat, which is phenomenal. Um, all the gauges and everything are real nice in here. Um, just tastefully done street rod here. Um, it's the steel body too, which is real desirable. Five window. Um, so yeah, he did a heck of a job with this unit. Uh, if you're looking to do one of these yourself, you're probably looking at paying twice as much than you can buy one done. The guys who build these uh, wind up usually being the people that lose money on them. Um, the second buyers are the ones that usually do well on them because, you know, they have to uh, buy them. They buy them at a, a fraction of the cost from what the original buyers put into them to build them. And I mean, this thing's just so cool with the interior. Um, it's even got a spare and a jack. That just really cracked me up. You know? But, uh, let's go, uh, let's go do the seven mile spin out. I know you guys are all on that. Your chair is waiting. Let's go check this back. website vanguardmotorsales.com you can actually join our mailing list which is real neat and you can see upcoming inventory and stuff do you see any cops Aubrey? I don't <laughs> and ready to go just want to tell you guys thanks and um, we'll see you on the next pass thanks again for watching